Tonight we begin the Haftar of Parshas Tetzaveh, although uh, we're not going to finish it this year, Parshas Tetzaveh. But since many years, Parshas Tetzaveh, we don't learn this Haftar, it may take us many years to finish it. Uh, but that's okay, it's about the Bayis Hashlishi, and it seems to be taking a very long time to get there as well. Uh, and we're Perak Mem Gimel, Pasig Yod, which is the beginning of the Haftar of Yecheskel. And... Um, Hey uh, Now you have to know where this is coming in. Yecheskel, Perik, Mem, Mem, Aleph, and Mem Beis are the Binyan Bayes Hashlishi, our description of the building of the Bayes Hashlishi. I think I've once recounted to you uh, one summer when I decided to learn Yecheskel properly. Uh, it was that summer I was in Monroe. And every morning my uh, Shachar Seder was uh, to learn Yecheskel. And I was sailing along, it's not easy, safer. And at that time, there were not, not even any e- English renditions that I, at least that I had access to. Uh, the Satmar Beis Medrash in Kiryas Seil does not have many English translations anyway. And uh, I was sailing along, and imagine I got Til Perik Mem. And then I started by Sashlishi. And I couldn't creep out of it. I, I just had a very hard time figuring out what exactly was taking place. And at some point, I quit. I, somewhere between Mem and Mem Beis, uh, I quit. Uh, considering that uh, the entire Cheskel only goes till Mem Zayin or Mem Ches, uh, Mem Ches that was pretty, uh, a pretty sad thing to quit. I felt very bad about it. Uh, Zundel Berman used to drive around at that time uh, selling Svarim in, in different uh, yeshivas. And uh, he came, and he had his Svarim, and I see... There's an entire safer Pirish Agra Al Binyan Bayes Hashlishi Shal Yecheskel Perak Mem Mem Aleph Mem Beis. And suddenly I felt better. Like the Gra saw fit. The Gra only wrote on things nobody wrote on. You want to have a Pirish of the Gra, you know, you'll find one on Shir Hashir and Mishle. You're not going to find um, any on, uh, on Shaftim or uh, Shmuel or Malachim. You'll find in Yeshua on the boundaries where everyone skips, you know, an explanation of the boundaries, you'll find the, the Pirish Agra. So at any rate, the, whoever uh, took care of the Haftarists made sure that was safe. He started us at the A after Perak Mem Mem Alf Mem Beis, here in Perak Mem Gimel. After Yecheskel teaches the people the Tzura of the Bayes HaShlishi, uh, the Rabbi Shalom says to tell the people, Ata Ben Adam, we've said numerous times that Yecheskel was called Ben Adam because he had been Zeicher to see what only angels uh, see. Uh, so to bring them sort of down to earth, he was called Ben Adam. Hagedes Beis Yisrael tell the Jewish people as Habayis uh, about this house, the Bayis Hashlishi. Uh, I shouldn't say Hashlishi; I have to explain that in a minute because the Bayis Harisha was still standing. Of Yikolmu Meyavoy Neseyem, and they should be embarrassed from their sins. Umadidu as Tochnis, and they can start measuring the plan. Tachnit today in Hebrew uh, is a uh, is a plan or a, or a uh, schedule. So Umadidu as they can start getting to work. And here Yechezkel is telling us the Yikolmu Meyavoy Neseyem Yisai that says in the first parak of Brachis that if someone doesn't have Eira and he's Mizbayish Mimenu, so Miyad Meichlum Lai. If someone doesn't have Eira and he's ashamed of, uh, he feels Busha having done the Avera, he has Mechila right away. Now we know that Mechila requires a Charata and a Vidu Yibapeh and a Kabbalah Lasset. Yet the Gemara says if you Mizbayish you have Kapara immediately. And that that's without the three parts. The Mechisino says that you can have kapora without fulfilling the three segments of tshuva. Uh, there are other ways to have kapora. Misbayish is a kapora. But you're missing the mitzvah sasei of tshuva. The mitzvah sasei of tshuva requires the three parts. But the, uh, the ability to, to have a kapora, that can come from, without the full mitzvah of tshuva, which is yikomo me'avay neseyam, it's interesting, the Gemara attributes this Chiddush to Yecheskel, but not to Perak Mem Gimel. It brings it from an earlier uh, Perak Tazayin of Yecheskel. And it brings the story of uh, Shol and Shloim HaMel, of Shol, uh, rather, and Shmuel HaNavi. Shol, at the end of his life, uh, went to a Balas Oiv to conjure up the image of, uh, of Shmuel to ask him a Shaila. 
you know, there are easier ways to hear Shilas, but, uh, yeah, Tom didn't answer him. Nothing answered him, so he figured he's gonna, he felt it was, no, my say, oh, it's a Sudaraisa. But he felt it was a cost of he had to know whether to go to war. Well, so he didn't think for himself, for the nation. For the nation, okay, good. So, uh, when Shmuel appeared, he said, Loma uh, why did you uh, anger me, Lahalis I see, to disturb me? And the Pasik says that uh, that Shaul was Nizbayish. Uh, Shaul said, uh, the Ravitumim doesn't answer me, and uh, I have no other way of uh, of getting it, I had to do this. And then Shmuel responded, Mokhar uh, Ato Imi, tomorrow you're going to be with me. In other words, uh, that you're going to die in the battle tomorrow, uh, but you're going to Ganeid. You're Mizbayish, and as soon as someone's Mizbayish, so Mechel Lemiyah. The response was that he immediately was, was Nimchal. The fascinating, uh, Kasha on, on the Rambam. The Rambam says Balasayv is, doesn't exist. Balasayv is, a, the Rambam sheet is magic doesn't really exist. The Balasayv doesn't exist. So, so people just believed it. So how did Shoal get Shoal's image and we'll learn any halachas from there? Well, nobody counts this as an Avera. It's well, a Shal Ba'achas. He did it because of the Fashis. But it appears it worked. So, no, it says in the Pasik <laughs> that when the image came up, the Balas Oiv shrieked. She shrieked. She she shrieked. So Rashi says, why was she surprised? So Rashi says, why was she surprised? So Rashi says, she surprised? She says normally Balas Oiv, the image comes up upside down, and here it came straight side up. The Rambam learns Pashib Shat, she shrieked. Because it's all a phony thing. It's all fake. And bang. It really happened. Yeah, there were people who pretended to be magicians. It doesn't mean that they were real. It could be that they fooled people. Yeah, but it could be for faking it out. It means faking it out, pretending. So the fake magicians today are isn't the right uh, well, uh, perhaps. Wait, the Rambam, it's a Chizay night. I didn't know that the, the Rambam's shot. I do, that's the Rambam's shot. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the, the Gra, the Gra no, derives no, the Rambam. But you know. The Rambam's shot is, there, as, now there's no such thing. No, 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 it's not what the Rambam says. No, no. Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky says now it doesn't exist, that it disappeared with Nevoa. But the Rambam says, the Rambam holds it exists, never existed, no such thing. There's no question as to Rambam Shita. What did the Rambam do with Chai Tumay and the Triangle? All right, he, he also was all trickery, it was all, uh, all shady characters like they have today. That, that she does around the Gra famous as famous Gra, he derides the Rambam. Yeah. He says how philosophia hitisai beroid lechai. Yeah, it seems uh, it seems that the Veltic the Yiddish Velt accepted that the Gra wrote it that that the philosophy fooled the Rambam beroid lechai. Too much philosophy. All right. Look, I'm not uh, you know no editorial well, comment. Mara says you're not supposed to dab in, in, a, in a shul in an empty building. Because of shame. Does that also mean uh, also a uh, faith? Yeah, the Rambam holds of uh, the Rambam holds that when you imagine things, they really affect you. The Rambam holds. What's that called in English? Uh, psychosomatic. Uh, psychosomatic. The Rambam holds of psychosomatic things. He writes about Kameyas. He writes about all these things. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, back to back here. So uh, the the Navi. Uh, said, the Rabbi Shalom tells the Navi, tell the people, you know why I described the bias for you? Bang, we're ready to go. And we're ready to build. If they're going to be embarrassed of their Averis, then Tzura Sabayis Utchunasai, the form of the house, its measure, Maitzav, Umayvav, its entrances and exits, V'chol Tzura and all of its uh, uh, different uh, forms, as Kolchu Kaisav, all its laws, again, Kol Tzura too many tsuraisavs here, three times. The Khaltai Raisav, Haida Aisam, let them know, save thy name, write it, show them I'm ready to go. It's like when you want to give a prize to the class if they do something good. You put it on the desk in front of the class and then they uh, they they perform better. The Ishmu has called Tsurasai, third time Tsurasai, the Khaltais of Asulai said. What are all these Tsurasais? It seems to be a lot of double talk. So the Malbim Kidarkai, the Malbim is uh, precise in language. He says there are three types of tsurais. One is what he calls the tsurase hamukrachas. The general outline of the building is the first one, uh, telling them uh, tsurase habayis of the general outline. 
And Bayes is uh, the things in the bias that were different in this bias than the other bias, the, the specific ones. And the third thing is that uh, the individual items that, that exist in the, in the bias. So these are the Tutsurais. So. Now, what? Oh, so we have here an issue. The basic issue, the first one is still standing. So you have to know that Yecheskel said Nevoa into the Chorbin, into the Zmana Chorbin. And he said Nevoa about the Gula Hasida. Mm-hmm. But there was no Bayesheni yet. Mm-hmm. So, well, the Gemara says the following. Uh, in, it says in, Sh- in Shira Sayyam, Ad Yavar Amcha Hashem, Ad Yavar Amzu Kanisa, Ad Yavar Zu Yitzis Mitzrayim, Ad Yavar Amzu Kanisa Zu Bias Ezra. When Ezra returns by the Bayesheni, the Gemara says, Roy Hoya Biashnia Liosis by Nisim. It was Roy that when Ezra came, miracles could have happened like Yitzhak Mitzrayim. Ella that Klaiso was not Zaycha. That's what the Gemara El Shagar Machet. The Klaiso was not Zaycha. The Gemara Machet, the Marsha says, the Chet that they didn't all come. That's what the Marsha says. It's the Gemara, I think, in Yuma. So that's what the Gemara says that the, the second Bia could have been the, what we call the Bayas Ashlishi. Could have been, they could, they could have been real. That is a Kasha. A Nevula Taiv, we have a rule that's not Chayzer. A Nevula Rak, you do Tshuva, it, it, it can be retracted. A Nevula Taiv is not Chayzer. It's a Pasuk, fresh Pasuk in Yermia. Uh, Yermia uh, says that the bias will be destroyed. And the Nevi'a Sheker come and they say that, that no, Nevuchanetz is going to retreat and we're going to be saved. And Yermia tells them, if my Nevula doesn't come true, it doesn't mean anything. Nevula Rak can be Chayzer. But Bezaisi Bachin Hanavi, Yermia says. With this, we see if the Navi is telling the truth. You're saying in the Vul the Taiv can be Chayzer. So the Kasha is, if in the Vul the Taiv can be Chayzer, whatever happened to Ad Yavar Amcha Hashem Ad Yavar, be May Ezra. So the answer is that that's the bias Hashishi. Ad Yavar Amcha Hashem is the Yisrael Mitzrayim. Ad Yavar Amzukhanisa is the Gul, is the final Gaula. It was Roy to happen Bizman Ezra. It didn't happen as Man Ezra, so what happened, it's going to happen as Hashem and the Bayes HaShlishi. Yechestel's Nevoah is about, it doesn't say Bayes HaShlishi here. It says that when the final, final redemption will come, this bias will exist. Final. What? The final Nevoah. The final and therefore, uh, he was begging them to make it happen by the, at, the, at the end of the first Golos, the 70 year Golos. They didn't. So now the message is a message of the Doros. Uh, it's a message to the Doris for all, all of us that this is the uh, the bias which is ready to go. Uh, all it needs is uh, that's all it needs. Have a real busha from from our Averis, which is uh, apparently not not easily done. He seems to be saying that they should construct it like this. Uh, I have your uh, I have your problem, which which I, I have a difficulty with anyway. Vaasuai Sam seems to say the Jews will build the Beis Hamikdash. The problem is a Gemara and a Rashi and a Taisus. Uh, there's a Gemara both in Sukkah and Aleph and Rosh Hashanah Lamid. The Gemara is not the problem. The Gemara says uh, the Gemara discusses the possible dates for the Binyan Bayis Hashlishi, and it talks about a possibility that it'll be built on Pesach, on, on Yom on the first day of Pesach. So the Gemara discusses what's going to be with the Yomer if they bring in the first day of Pesach. Shai, Frakt Rashi and Taisus Akasha. Rashi is in Rosh Hashanah. Taisus in Sukkah. But ain't been your base amigdash daich yamtiv. Is me that daich yamtiv? So they say the base hashlishi will come down from heaven. You don't have to do any work. It'll just come down presto. Now I understood that Gemara to mean that if the base hamigdash was built on the fifteenth. On Yom Tif, then it'll come down from heaven. It's not quoted that way. And if you medayak in the language, Rashi and uh, don't say, don't, don't clearly say it that way. They seem to say the Bayez HaShlishi will come down from heaven. There are problems. <coughs> One problem is this Pasik. Vasu Aysam seems to imply, seems to say that they are going to build uh, the Tachnis Bayez uh, 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 The other problem is that it's a Mitzvah Haseh. Not only that, but it needs a Shema. The opinion of, uh, of the bias has to be Lashma. And if it comes down from heaven, uh, God is not eligible to do things Lashma. <laughs> you guys got to be people that do it Lashma. So it seems to be an issue. I don't know a, a way of resolving it, but uh, that seems to be an issue. I, mean, I know we have now, technology since uh, uh, Shlomo, uh, 
Right. How long did it take Shlomo to do Seven years. Okay, so why would the Gemara be discussing that? It's going to be built on Pesach. You know, that... that, that uh, Ben, Mashiach is going to come one day we're going to put up the, you know, I'll tell you the truth when, when Mashiach comes even if it takes us seven years to build we don't need the whole base Amigdash for Korbanos we could do it bang we could do it right away so yeah but that would be answer the Gemara it's not the answer with yeah, with uh, we need to build a Mizbeach we're still going to have to build something and not, the truth is not so clear we need the Mizbeach not so clear Pasuk Yud Bey is the final Pasuk we're going to learn at least uh, for Parshish Tetzav of this year is one of those psukim which are uh, a certain level of, uh, give you a certain strength of emuna. Zayis teres habayis. This is how the bayis ashlishi will be. Al roi shahar. On top of the mountain. Right. Now, al roi shahar, what's al roi shahar? The Gemara says that the harabayis is halfway up the mountain. Bank safe of shachin. It says that David and Shmuel Anavi sat to figure out where the bayis amidish is going to be based on psukim. And they decided it has to be halfway up a mountain. It doesn't say half, but like a shoulder. Being safe from Shachin, that there has to be some more mountain above it. And therefore, they chose the Harabayas, which has mountain above it. This Pasuk says, Al Roy Shahar, that it's going to be at the top of the mountain. Now, Yechesim couldn't have known this, except through Nevoah. Today, the Harabayas is the top of the mountain. Because Hordis came along and shaved off the top of the mountain, when Hordis wanted to build what he considered the Bayes Hashlishi, uh, the Hordis, uh, 70 years before the Chorba Bayes Shaini, uh, rebuilt the Beis Hamigdash in, uh, in Roman style. And uh, part of what he did was to shave off the top of the mountain, and this is without machinery, just with slaves, and schlep the top of the mountain into the valley. So that when you look at, when you're standing at the Kaisel, uh, the, the mountain on your left is no longer there. The valley on your right is no longer there. The right side, the, the Harabais was square. Tuf Kuf Ama, Tuf Kuf Ama. Today it's rectangular. That whole right side was filled in with the top of the mountain. And so it's Teres HaBayis HaRoy Shahar. When the Bayis HaShishi will be built, it'll be on top of the mountain. Kol Gevulay Saviv Saviv Kodesh Kadoshim. Everything around it will have Kedusha. He needs a Teres HaBayis. The Malbim says that uh, the area of Kedusha will be larger in the Bayes HaShlishi than in the Bayes HaSheni, and Yerushalayim will be bigger. In other words, the Kedusha's HaBayis will extend for a great area, because there will be many more Jews to come, and uh, Yerushalayim will be bigger. It's already happening. And you ask people, uh, uh, you know, in Harnof, they tell you they live in Yerushalayim. The further you go, they all tell you they live in Yerushalayim. You know, well, they believe they do. It's a very long walk to Yerushalayim from there. You know, it's... Uh, do they? It, it was a big debate in, uh, in the 1950s. Rav Tukatsinsky printed his Luach, and he said, no, Hanov and uh, Baitagan, this is all chutz Yerushalayim, you have to keep two days for him. Rabbi Zevin, Rabbi Zevin was nifter in the 60s, so he wrote it in the 50s, and his, his uh, Moadim Lahabalacha, uh, the writes in his footnote, Rav Tukatsinsky doesn't understand that Jews want to live in Yerushalayim. And they consider themselves to be part of Yerushalayim. Right. And, and whatever the halachic uh, implications are, are you can make an Erev, you can make a whole it's a Erev. If you have a proper Erev, you can have an Erev, because there are, those, Erev there are four Erevin. Right. I always tell people the difference between America and Yerushalayim is all symbolized in the fact that Yerushalayim, there are four Erevin around Yerushalayim, and many Jews don't carry. In Brooklyn, there might be one Erev, and many Jews do carry. You know, it's like a symbol of, uh, you know, of the Yerushalayim uh, America divide. At any rate, uh, we've gotten through the introductory psukim. Uh, next time, we'll Hashem, learn Elu Midas HaMizbeach. It actually tells us, that I mentioned in the previous Haftarah, that the Amah of Kalim and the Amah of the Beis Amigdash were different. And Amah of the Beis Amigdash is six Tvachim, in Am of Kalim is five. Elam midas am is beach. But Am is Am Am of a tefach. Every Am for the Kalim was one Am and a tefach. In other words, was uh, was six. The cheikar Am of Am rechav gavula asfas asaviv zeres afan zegavim is beach. That's funny. The foundation was measured with the regular ones, but we'll get to it.